talks about environment setup and Laravel installation. At first, in your mind, you should ask why we use Laravel. We use Laravel because of several reasons. I am discussing about these things now. Laravel is easy to get started and this is open source. You can download it and you can use it in your PC or laptop. And this follows MVC pattern. So if you have some MVC knowledge like model view controller here, yeah, then you can do this programming. And uh, it has a robust community support and uh, it has a strong, very strong engine template engine named blade templating yeah and good libraries and configuration so if you have this knowledge then you, you can uh, do laravel and for laravel you need some tools to install for Laravel and these tools are uh, Composer, Xem and for uh, for typing you need Visual Studio Code yeah and uh, I will give you the link for download in the description section you just click it and download it from there yeah and uh, before installation please I remind you that uh, at first install Xem then Composer then we just do code yeah because uh, composer use some PHP file from the XAM so at first you install XAM then composer yeah and then use the studio code this mind it for XAM you have to come here yeah and if you are using Windows then please click here and download from here and for composer use this link and come here and click in this link and install composer in your pc and for visual studio code you come here in this link and go at the end of the page and if you use 64 bit os then download from here yeah and uh, when you install xam yeah, then uh, MySQL database automatically installed in your PC and I am using MySQL for the backend storing of data yeah. and to run this page I mean to open MySQL you have to run this Apache server yeah. run this Apache server on port 8081 and for my scale, I'm running the port for 3306 port, yeah. And one more thing, we are creating the project inside the XAMPP stdocs folder. I'm showing you. Yeah, here is XAMPP stdocs. Inside this, we'll create the project. Yeah. And the benefit of creating project inside htdocs yeah, is that you don't need to run local server. If you run Apache, you can run this project. Yeah. I'm showing you now. Open Visual Studio Code. from Visual Studio Code uh, one more thing uh, for details about Laravel official documentation visit laravel.com please yeah okay I'll give this commands in the description section you can copy it or type it on the command line yeah. and copy it from here this is uh, we use we are using composer to create a Laravel installer, yeah. Go to Visual Studio Code. This is Visual Studio Code window, and go to Terminal. Waiting to be opened, and go to New Terminal. Okay, allow some time to be opened. 
in that time I'm discussing about this um, when you use composer then uh, I think uh, you can after downloading composer when you write this command on the command line then it creates installer for the Laravel project creation yeah and uh, for that reason after that you have to go to the C XAMPP ST docs uh, one more thing if you don't uh, if you don't create XAMPP on the C folder I mean if you create XAMPP on D or E folder then you have to go to environment and uh, set up the path yeah please because uh, otherwise you will not find uh, XAMPP on the command line uh, some common from the common line yeah so after that we will write this laravel new my laravel yeah this will create a project named my laravel on the stdocs folder yeah and uh, after that we will run this localhost h on my laravel public folder uh, we need to write this address on the address bar to run the project first time yeah. anyway I am copying it to create the installer and paste it here at first go to here in the root folder cd means change directory then cd xam going to change it to exam folder then again change directory to ht rocks yeah. now I paste the command here composer global require laravel installer yeah. it will take couple of minutes to finish the command to run the command successfully yeah. Just press enter. Yeah. See, yeah, it finished and it's showing that nothing to install after because I already installed it yesterday. So that's why the installer don't need to be installed again. Yeah. Now we'll create the project by Laravel new my Laravel this command. My Laravel is the project name. Test it here and press enter. And uh, it will take a couple of minutes to be installed. Project has been created and uh, an application key is set successfully so now we can run the project we copy the address from here see here local host 8081 yeah, here is the port of uh, Apache server and this is my level is the project name and this is public folder yeah add this address in the address bar please paste it here and press enter please see project uh, created successfully this is the welcome page yeah 
and uh, I show you where this will come page situated in the folder here yeah? I am now discussing about folder structure of Laravel project let's see XAMPP htdocs here yeah? and see here my Laravel this is our project <coughs> excuse me and inside the app folder you will get the controller yeah this is controller this is middleware I already told you about uh, MVC pattern uh, because uh, if you want to do Laravel you have to need some knowledge about uh, MVC pattern yeah and uh, this is kernel and this is provider like uh, what is your home page this uh, should be uh, this should be right in this file here yeah? what is your home page see here now okay, can just uh, open it in the uh, uh, visual studio code yeah? open folder my laravel select folder up to this is our uh, this lecture content here yeah? and uh, after, after this one this is the content of the next lecture yeah? so I am just showing you the file structure and then uh, I will end this uh, discussion waiting to be op opened <coughs>